I kind of wish I made this video yesterday. So, I went... To, okay, for one, what am I doing? Oh, well, great. I'm looking for some weird place. Well, ooh, payout ready. I guess I'll have to go to my business place. Where is that? So, um, I think I mentioned a little bit before about how I um, completely forgot to go to the dentist. Oh, it's the trigger. Yeesh. Why is it the trigger? Um, so, I hadn't gone to the dentist in like a year. Um, purposefully, of course. But... It uh, kind of caught up with me a little bit because my mom was my mom takes care of the insurance for the whole family because she's a insurance kind of person and uh, she noticed that I hadn't been to the dentist in like a full year so um, she made me get a dentist appointment. Hey, look, it's a bunch of thuggos. What's up, fellas? Unfortunately, I don't have any epic. Um, Dancing around crowd control styles, but that's fine. Boink. Yep. Wow, that was all flashy and stuff and very expertly useless. Hey, come here, boy. But anyways, um, so I go to the dentist and... The freaking frauds, they tell me, hey, you've got like three cavities, and I can't, I can't believe my eyes. I'm like, of course you would say that, the dentist. So, anyways, flash forward a couple weeks later, I'm back in the dentist so they can give me some fillings. One of which, actually, I, I have gotten fillings before. Uh, one of those fillings was under um, some fillings that I had gotten that had, like, gone bad, apparently. So that's super cool. Actually... I think this was the bad one. This, the girl, um, doing the, well, not a girl, a lady, um, doing the fillings was like, afterwards, because it was top right and bottom left, and for one, I guess I'll, I'll back up to when they were still doing the fillings. Getting your bottom teeth filled is always going to be a fun experience, uh, because apparently there's just one nerve that takes care of your entire, like, the entire side of your jaw. So if they numb you at all, you're, you're, uh, numbed completely for the, like, basically the entire left side of my jaw was out. Um, and that was fun. I almost bit the frick out of my tongue, which was half numb, uh, or my cheek. I couldn't tell, only that I was biting on something that I shouldn't have been biting on, so... Oh, I just remembered what these places were for. Uh, how do I find the business place? I had imagined that I would do business. That was my idea. You know what? Let's go to the alley. This is where the, the girl with the beast style is, right? Or I guess I'll go to the, the story place. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. Whatever, I can take a taxi down to relatively close. See, I was going the right way, actually. Um, you people are wrong. Just like me not going to the dentist for a year, apparently. Anyways, um, I blame my father. <laughs> Everybody blames my father for that. He has terrible teeth. But the... Um, God, what am I thinking of? Oh, I don't know. You're really running me ragged here. Say 470. Uh, how will I afford that? Anyways. Heck yeah. I didn't know I had this much money. I'm gonna have to spend a lot of it, I guess. Um, you know, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should spend a bit of money. Uh, if I have the money for it. Oh, actually... I kind of don't a little bit. I do, but I don't. I don't know if I really want to spend 30k on something. Oh. 
you know, that is actually kind of worth it. So, yeah, that was fun to learn that um, I have a, a really, oh, wait, I didn't actually get to this part. After the fillings, um, she was telling me that the top left one, which I'm pretty sure was the one that I had gotten worked on before, is actually really freaking deep. And I'm going to have to go back if I have any kind of sensitivity in the next, like, month. Because I might need a root canal. Um, so that's super cool. I haven't felt sensitive in the top left. The funny thing is that, like... The only odd parts I felt, I think, are top right, and that might just be because my bite's a bit different now. But it honestly, it was honestly a really dang good job. I haven't even really noticed anything now that the feeling in my mouth has come back. So, yeah. The only thing is that, like, the the teeth are a bit rough. Hey, that looks kind of like Nishikiyama. Never mind, no it's not. Hey, drunkard. What? What the heck are you talking about? I am what I am, my fella. <laughs> Take it easy, pal. But, yeah, good times. I love going to the dentist. They look like they're looking for me. Um, yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to actually go to the dentist regularly from here on out. Otherwise, dude. Why the heck would you do that, man? That's not a good idea. Sheesh. Well, hey, this park's uh, as good a place as any. What am I huffing and puffing from? Did I, did I sprint here or something? Ah, Reina. I don't remember who you are. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Some drunkard slashed me with a bottle. Yep. That it is. That's why I'm not showing you my face. <laughs> I uh, ran into a door. It's nothing. I just um, fell down the stairs. Yes, they are. So, what else funny happened? Um, I feel like more funny stuff happened at the dentist. I like how I opened the episode with, you know, I should have made this yesterday, and I didn't explain that. Um, it's kind of amazing how the numbing stuff works, because it comes real fast and stays the same and then leaves real fast. Because my mouth was numb for a couple dang hours, but then I, like, started, I started cooking with my mouth completely numb and I ended cooking with my mouth not numb at all and I just think that's pretty wacky but you know my face don't hurt so I'll say that that's perfectly fine and the numbness was gone by the time that I was actually eating so this is still perfectly fine in my book I would have no problem with how that happened I just think it's wacky <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was a. Uh, it it's always it's always interesting getting your face numbed for dental work. Like I um. I needed I think three different shots. Because the, oh that also reminds me the stuff they the stuff they do to like. Prepare your flesh for shots. Um, in your mouth. You know how they have, like, the alcohol rubs to do, uh, when you're doing shots? Well, you know, when you're doing shots. When you're getting shots so that you don't feel it. You know, the stuff they put in your mouth for the same reason. It's, like, the worst crap you've ever tasted. And she's trying to tell me that it's supposed to taste like banana. Um... And I'm like, that's a that's kind of a weird flavor for it to even attempt to be in the first place. <laughs> but 
in the middle of me like just kind of hoping that this crap doesn't get on my tongue i actually get that that hint of like runts like banana runts like specifically candy banana not actual banana like banana snapple um which if you've never had banana snapple for one it's apparently mostly pear juice, which I found interesting, but, you know, it also has banana puree in it, so whatever. I guess it's banana. Um, I found some when I was in New York one time, and I got it because I was like, banana Snapple? And I'm just ultimately drawn to, like, the oddest concoctions I can find, like dirt-flavored soda, which I've never had, or the grass clippings one. But I've had, the like, some of the more normal-sounding flavors. But anyways... Uh, it was interesting getting that hint because, like, the second that crap touches your tongue, it just tastes like something that shouldn't be in your mouth, you know? Um, and then there's, like, it comes in waves. There's, like, a back hint of banana flavor, but, like, artificial banana flavor, which I guess it's not like they're putting banana puree in the, the mouth-numbing stuff. It'd be funny if they were, though. I, I would have appreciated that a little bit better. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, she had to give me like two in the in the bottom. But that that might actually be because of what I was talking about earlier, where apparently there's like one nerve that does the entire bottom of your jaw, um, and it's it's deep in there, so you have to numb the flesh. Uh, and then you can go further in to numb the nerve itself, which is really nice, because again, then your entire bottom jaw just doesn't feel like anything anymore, and you can't do anything properly. Like, I had to, um, God. I, I came back and my mouth is dry as all heck because I had just gotten my teeth worked on and they're sucking all the moisture out of my mouth, deliberately. And I have to, like, Hope to God I don't dribble water out of my mouth as I'm trying to take it out of my water bottle. Uh, <laughs> but it wasn't too much of a problem. I didn't have any problems like that. Just rinsing out my mouth after they were done with the work was a, a fun time because you can't spit. You can't spit or anything. You just have to, like, hope to God that all the, all the stuff you're trying to get out of your mouth actually leaves. And then you're going to deal with whatever kind of trail is left over, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, not the most painful dental appointment I've been to. Uh, only thing I felt was pressure and such. But, uh, you know, nothing, nothing painful, so that's good. And, again, the teeth feel pretty natural right now. Like, if I had just woken up and the clocks were set, oh, what in the heck? That's my job, dude. Anyways, if I had just woken up and the clocks were set back 24 hours, I'd have been like, well, uh, okay, I guess it's actually Saturday. You know. What the heck are you talking about? I am never gonna man up, especially if it means that I'm gonna have to spend 20 minutes fighting goons. I'm gonna have to spend 20 minutes fighting goons again, aren't I? Great. Sorry, Reina, I shouldn't have come here. Alright, we're going beast style, just for funsies. Oh yeah, do I now? Tell me how many guys you got. Actually, do I have any- do I have any weapons? Do I? I do! Haha. Yoink. Wow, okay, that was... Did that break the umbrella? I think it might have broken the umbrella. Alright, here we go. Boink. Alright. This is why we'd go beast style. I'm like the star of all beasts. I'm like the beast star. This is 3D animated, so that does that, that actually checks out. Oh god, that reminds me. I was talking to one of my friends, one of my anime watching friends, and we were talking about 3D animation, which, okay, 
I think it, it was either My Home Hero or Jigo Kodaku. Part of the... Um, are we in the summer season now? I guess so, we're in the summer anime season. But it's done by MAPPA, and the MAPPA opening is 3D animated, and I watched it the first episode, and my heart sank, and I was like, oh god, they're going to ruin something with 3D animation again. But it was actually pretty good, it wasn't 3D. I'm pretty sure it was Jigoku Deku, because I wouldn't have had any kind of concern if, like, my home hero wasn't well produced. I've been hearing that it wasn't really well produced anyways, but I'm not watching it for how damn beautiful it looks, you know? Um, but it just wouldn't be the first time I've watched a really good story uh, be something I don't want to watch anymore because it involves 3D animation. I think I've talked before about how that kind of happened with me and Chainsaw Man. Now, I might watch it anyways, but the, the jarring thing is that all of the interesting parts of Chainsaw Man are the action. And if the action is going to look like crap, when everything else looks like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, it's just going to be a bit too jarring for me. I can't handle that. So, you know. So far, Jigokuraku is uh, damn good. At least I'd say so. But I'm not exactly a connoisseur like some of the other people using the, the same apps as I do. Great. It's a lot of the same looking guys. Oh, I didn't need to run. Nowhere for you to run. <laughs> At least I know I won't be lonely. Anyways. Oh yeah? You really don't think I'm not gonna take down even one of you pals? I feel like I can do it pretty well. Let's go for the guy with the- okay, never mind. There are guys with knives. I get the feeling I should maybe... There we go. See, it's all fine. This thing's huge. I'm, I mean, I'm used to working with material this long, you know. Hold on. Alright. We're using this. He's got a taser? Wait, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Alright. I got a baseball bat. We all know how the baseball bat works. We did it, guys. Very nice. See? I'm not going down. It just doesn't happen that way. No, no way! Wow. You're saying that because I'm just a bit taller than everybody else? You know, you should really work on that uh, uh, bias of yours, friends. It is the current year. Anyways, yeah, I wonder when I'll be able to get to a payphone next. I get the feeling it's not going to be soon, unfortunately. But you know what? I have been recording these in blocks anyways, which reminds me, I don't know if I needed to record this when I did. Hey, it's Nishikiyama. You gonna call off the uh, thugs? Oh, great, it's Owano, too. Well, I guess it's a boss fight, then. Which means we're going to be fighting Owano on the next episode of Yakuza 0. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm going to not give you a chance to save before fighting the boss. Goodbye! Alright. Yeah. I'm not, I don't know if I'm even going to... Oh, great, Kuze's here, too. Yeah, that's worked every other time you've tried it, too. Dude, how many times am I going to have to fight Kuse at this game? <laughs> I have no idea. Watch. All the lights are going to turn off. Oh, I don't know about that one. Yeah, that is a bit of a raw deal. You should kind of just let me go. 
nothing wrong with letting me go, dude. Yeah. Do your worst, pal. I'm not giving up my beloved one-handed man. He's like a robot. He's got replaceable parts, my friend. Yeah, I get the feeling that's not actually gonna happen the way you want it to. Anyways, I think here's what's gonna happen, right? I'm gonna go into the cooler looking stance. How? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Hold the phone. I said the cooler looking stance. Please. Thank you. Ow. Boink. Come on. Boink. Please tell me I take more than... Okay. That was a lot less of his health than I had hoped. Hold on. There we go. Oh, hey! Nice! A quick time event. Just in case I hadn't had enough fun in this fight yet. Please let me stomp on him. Alright, very nice. A kettle. But if the kettle's here, then who's gonna call the pot black? No. Boink. I didn't know you could grab people from behind. Anyways, now I know. Yeah. Bet you didn't like that very much, Kuze. Daisaku Kuze. Boink, 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 boink. And skadoosh. You're a skadoosh bag. You know that, Daisaku? Please, dear god. I think my right button is actually not right button. Left button. My left button doesn't work very well. I've found this out through... Um, I've actually been playing a lot of... Uh, what was it again? Grand Theft Auto V. I finally got it. Or, uh, I got it a while back. I got it when it was on sale. As uh, zero dollars through the Epic Games Store. And... Um, it, uh, it's been fun. Oh, wow. That did quite a bit of damage. Please tell me I can still get him. Boink. Please, I just want to take him out already. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was like the most anticlimactic thing. You know what? I think this might just be one episode. <laughs> Unless I'm actually going to have to fight someone else after this. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I'm really just going to take it on the jaw right after beating him to a bloody pulp. Oh, I can tell. This is the third time I've kicked your ass. Oh, okay. That hurt a lot. You know. Oh, wow. That's, uh, wow. That's a uh, much better driving than I do in GTA, at the very least. I get the feeling that's not going to be the case. <laughs> Who's painting the sidewalk now, old man? Now that's the kind of driving job I do in GTA. What were you driving with your other hand? Sheesh. No. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's fine. I'm his co I'm his coworker. I guess employee. Oh, thanks, Tachibana. Um, why is that? Please tell me he has like a fancy gear shifter attachment or something. That's a pretty sick ride, though. Boink. Yeah, try for the tires, pal. Tires are surprisingly difficult to shoot out. Maybe I just suck at aiming. But, you know, that couldn't be the case. 
Yeah, just throw it on the ground. That'll definitely not cause any kind of, you know, problem. Anyways. Are we gonna have to deal with this guy next? I think we're gonna have to deal with that guy next. By next, I mean the next episode of Yakuza 0. I just realized that the middle of this episode is going to be like the first time I've actually had a complete bye in the episode. That kind of takes it away, takes it away from me, you know. Nobody ever gets to that part, but you know, it's going to be even worse if it's in the middle. Well, that's all right, Tajibana. I, I appreciate that you helped me out here. Ah, uh, but I didn't even get in the back, so you're not really a chauffeur. Hmm. You're licensed? Well, what does this country come to? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I come from a place where anybody can get a driver's license, so I guess I can't really be saying that about wherever the heck this takes place. Yes, I know the country. I just don't know where in the country. I don't know. You were still conscious after that blow to the back of the head, so... I'd say that's that's... You're in pretty good shape, Kiryu. <sighs> Whole time I tried to be a lone wolf. I've had people protecting me. And now I'm finally paying for being blind for that for so long. I don't really care. So I think I talked a little bit before about how I bought like a bunch of pork rinds for no reason. They're originally flavor. They're original flavor, right? So I uh, shook a bunch of spices into the Ba jar container. It's a bucket. Yeah, bucket works, and you know that works for like the first couple, but you get a bit further down, and you know the salt, and I think I used like total seasoning, which is damn good by the way, on pork rinds. But you know, I think I might, I'm gonna have to, you know, do what I do at Mexican restaurants instead, and just take chip and. Pour a bunch of salt on it and then use it as a salt conveyance mechanism because I definitely don't have enough salt in my blood. Did I tell you all that my dad had a heart attack at 50? Yeah, so anyways, I'm going to be eating a bunch of salt and that'll definitely do me well in the long run. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, yeah. It just reminds me I got to drink more water too. I'm not much of a water drinker. Not enough of a water drinker, I guess. The weird thing, I don't know if my... My body has an interesting relationship with water. I feel like it's different from the way other people's bodies have a relationship with water. But that's the kind of thing people that are cringe say when they're saying something cringe. So, you know what? Just completely disregard that. God, do you ever shut up? Sheesh. Get to the point already, dude. Well, that's nice and all. Can you put a payphone in my hand? Yeah. First round's on me, pal. Oh, yeah? Okay, sounds good to me. Who's in the van? I get the feeling people that don't work for us are in the van. Oh, people that do work for us are in the van. It's Oda. How about that? Hey, you got a car phone? Oh. A few corners left behind the Tojo clan's reach. That's nice, because we're going to have to find those few corners. And you told me you didn't know where he was. You found him pretty dang quick, Oda. For somebody that didn't know where Tachibana was. You good, man? Yeesh. My fella, are you alright? Well, that don't sound too good. Oh, that was the whole dang chapter. Well, you know what? Y'all got, uh... Real treat. What did that take? Two episodes? <laughs> Anyways, how about that? 
We're going to pick up with the next chapter, chapter 10, on the next episode. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm going to beat you with a baseball bat. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.